the lecture part, I just want to highlight, um, you know, if, if there is uh, if there is one thing that you take away from this, um, it's it's that Jetscape is really a framework for general purpose heavy ion event generators, um, not just a single event generator, but it allows you to run many different um, uh, theoretical models in in the um, in kind of one piece of code. And it's designed in a in a both modular and extensible way, where um, we're really eager for people in the community to contribute additional modules. Um, and I, I want to highlight that the intention of Jetscape really is a tool for the community. Um, so it it uh, it's a tool in the sense that it can enable well controlled comparisons between different event generators. So, for example, comparing uh, different jet energy loss um, models for fixed uh, hydrodynamic code and fixed uh, hydronization and so on, so that we really can try to tease out some physics uh, from the differences in the theories. And Jetscape also is a tool for um, as kind of a test bed. So you can you can develop, for example, your own um, your own theory implementation of a particular piece of physics. Uh, while leveraging this open source code and framework that um, allows you to connect for free to um, hydrodynamic code or initial state code or jet energy loss code. Um, and this, so this, this can be, I think, very useful for theoretical development, but also on the experimental side to try to understand, for example, what observables we actually want to measure. We can do um, more systematic studies using different um, set of theoretical models. Um, which can be very useful. Um, okay, so with that, um, I will close then the, the lecture portion of today. I just want to thank, uh, of course, all my Jetscape collaborators for all the work that's gone into this. Um, and with that, let me pass back to um, the chairs before we go to the interactive session.